In this section, we want to look at what is called composition of functions. It's one of the more important topics that we will discuss. Being able to see how a function is composed of two or more functions will occur frequently in calculus. Composition of functions is the idea that one function becomes the replacement for x in another function. It is a substitution technique. Notice the notation. Sometimes we use f circle g and it's read f composed with g. Or I prefer this f of g of x and you notice how it's read. In general, f of g of x is not the same as g of f of x. The definition of composition of two functions. The composition is f circle g equal to f of g of x. The domain of f circle g is the set of all x in the domain of g, such that g of x is in the domain of f. Check figure 1.5 on page 52 in your textbook. Let's do some examples of composition of functions. Let's start with f of x equal to x plus 1 and g of x, x squared plus 3. Please notice how I'm substituting g of x for x in f of x. Let's try another one. f of x is x squared minus 7. g of x is x plus 4. Again, I'm going to put g of x equal to x plus 4 in place of x and carry out the appropriate algebra. Getting x squared plus 8x plus 16 minus 7 x squared plus 8x plus 9. Let's try another. Let's let f of x equal x squared plus 3x, and we'll let g of x equal x minus 2. f of g of x, notice, there goes x minus 2 in place of x. Let's expand. Be careful when you square x minus 2. It's easy to get the wrong answer. Combine like terms. Now, let's look at g of f of x. Right, in this case, we're going to put x squared plus 3x in for f of x. And so notice, as I mentioned, f of g of x does not necessarily equal g of f of x. All right, now let's decompose a function. Our function is that x cubed minus 7x to the fourth. Notice that we can make it f of g of x by letting g of x be x cubed minus 7x and f of x equaling that x cubed minus 7x to the fourth. Need to do that a lot also when you're working with something like the chain rule in calculus. Now, your calculator will also do composition of functions. Let's take x plus 2 and store it in f of x. Then how about x squared minus 4x and let's store it in g of x. I like storing functions so that we can work with them easier. So notice f of g of x, notice what it does for us. It plugs it in. We get x squared minus 4x plus 2. Now let's do g of f of x. So in this case, the calculator is going to plug in f of x for x in g, and notice there, it also factored for us. Calculator's quite smart.